Well, Mike, last night I checked out a new restaurant and bar in the North Loop, and it was packed, and I can see why. And also, the food was delicious. You went to the place that I was in shooting a yes. story the day before. <laughs> that was Nolo's Kitchen and Bar and the Basement Bar. They're two new additions to that uh, maturing neighborhood that have just opened. And they're meant to be the low key, everyday, and reasonably priced kind of places that keep everyone coming back. We wanted people to come three days a week and be able to order three different things and feel comfortable with it. Nolo's, which is short for North Loop, opened less than two weeks ago in a building long on history. It's called the Maytag building um, because it's literally where they made um, Maytag washing machines, the original Maytag patents. So you can see literally what a washing machine looked like in 1915, which is really cool to us. Prior to us, it was the Gardner Hardware Store. The space and the menu are meant to reflect the building and neighborhood's blue-collar past. And that's where we come from. Uh, Chef Pete has done an incredible job of putting the menu together. You know, flatbreads and salads and a really good burger that had this inspiration from like an In-N-Out burger from when he worked out in California. We think of Nolo's as kind of kind of like a neighborhood cheers, whereas the basement bar is totally different. Just opened in the last few days, this is the kind of place to let out your inner college kid and still get home early enough to put the newborn to bed. Super interactive. There'll be pull tabs, there'll be a tri-wheel, shuffleboard, darts, bubble hockey. There will be live entertainment down there. There's going to be DJs and, and live music every Saturday. Another element to the basement is we got this food truck concept. Pizza by the slice, um, burger, poutine, wings, um, fried chicken sandwiches. Plus a full bar. Back upstairs, bartender Stefan Van Voorst is behind a cocktail menu that's as light and as bright as the space. What were you looking to do with it? Uh, a couple things. One, I love fresh ingredients, fresh juices, ginger and um, pomegranate syrup, as well as cantaloupe, apple. Here's a non-alcoholic choice called the Montana. It's coconut and pineapple with pomegranate syrup and some lime. On the boozy side. So this is a rosé cocktail. It's a rosada dawn. Uh, so it's gin, rosé with lemon, uh, a little sugar, and then muddled strawberry. And then there's the Gardner screwdriver. And Named for the building, right? Absolutely, yeah. Gardner Hardware Building. It's a screwdriver that's got a little more kick to it. There's okay. fresh ginger in it. Fresh orange juice and vodka make up the classic, and they're in here as well. This recipe also calls for lime and ginger simple syrup. Juice ginger and then add a little sugar to it. There's also triple sec for more sweetness and orange. Got a straw, a little orange. Simple and fun. Yeah. Gardner screwdriver. Uh, well, so that one, like all the drinks on the menu, was fruit forward and light, kind of matches the space. Mm -hmm. A little hint of ginger in that as well. Recipes for the Gardner screwdriver and that non-alcoholic Montana are posted at WCCO.com slash Mike's Mix.